Okay guys, tech agent, we're back with more vintage stuff. Uh, today we have a very special presentation. Uh, this is the AKG K1000. You know, I want to call it a headphone, but there are some people in this world who would give me shit about it. Uh, so I will not say that. Uh, this headphone is probably the most mocked on headphone I have ever seen in my life. People have strong opinions about this headphone, really strong ones, and I just don't understand the mess. And let me explain, this is going to be a rant, I'm going to start off with a rant. There are three kinds of people in this headphone community. Uh, 60% to 70%, oh, let's say 70% of the people, you know what, 80% of the people are total shits. They don't know shit about audio. They're stupid, they're idiotic, they don't know anything about audio. They're one of those people who are like not in the beats section, but they are in the audio file section. They have those headphones and they think they're like the best headphones ever. Uh, that's one part of the group. Then there's the 10%, which is like the rich, the extremely wealthy group. People with R10s and uh, HE90s and just uh, really wealthy people with a lot of headphones. Uh, and the remaining ones are the people who buy the good headphones buy headphones accordingly uh, according to their sound buy summit for headphones according to how they sound so there are three kinds of people on in, in this community and um, the the 80 percent that i talked about sh absolutely mocks this headphone as it's like piece of shit you know they 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 hate this headphone for some reason now let me just talk about why I am pissed, uh, unhappy, you know, at, at those people. First of all, the word headphone doesn't mean anything. If anyone knows their history, the word headphone dates back to the DD48 in 1937, or at least Kofferer was. That was the word that started it all. It, it was a German word, and that's how the, the word headphone kind of started, originated because of the DD48 in 1937. Uh, so the word headphone basically does not mean anything at all. You know, it just it just came about. I don't know who invented the word headphone, but it was just it came out. You know, it was it was a random word. It doesn't mean anything. AKG calls this a your speaker, so AKG kind of in stacks and call this you know call this a, a your speaker, which is again a stupid name. So these words they don't mean anything. It's on your head. It's a device. It's same as everything else. There is no, there shouldn't be any discrimination like, okay, this is not a headphone, so you cannot compare this to other headphones out there because that is not fair. Well, fuck you. That is 100% fair. This is a headphone, all right? So if you're one of those people who are going to give me shit about that in the comments, then fuck you. Because this is a headphone, all right? It looks like a headphone. It is a headphone. It's nothing else. It's nothing different. It is a headphone. It is the AKG K1000. You know, I haven't been impressed by a uh, headphone in a long time. I think the last headphone that I was, okay, I'm not going to say I was impressed, by the, but the last headphone that was like good was the K812 that I heard in Germany. I did not like the 09s, 07s and shit. I mean, those are total shit headphones compared to these headphones. Uh, I didn't like those headphones. And uh, last time I was impressed by the K812 and I, and that's been a long time, like three months, I think, four months, five months, I don't know. Uh, so being impressed by another headphone is, is a pleasant surprise. I, I really look forward to be to being impressed by headphones because very rarely do headphones impress me. I've got a lot of them and very few impress me. Uh, but the K1000 just took me by surprise. I mean, this is, this is a very special headphone, man. Something else, unlike anything I've ever seen. Let's start off from the, the, the design. As you can see, it looks a bit goofy on your head. Uh, it doesn't matter how it looks on your head, right? You know, you're gonna wear this in your room. And nobody's gonna be there. You're just gonna chill on a chair or couch. You're gonna listen to it. No one's gonna look at you. And if people look at you, it doesn't matter because it's family, all right? You know, if friends come over, they just, they're just gonna look at you. It's not, not a big deal. If you go outside, then that's a, that's a different thing, but it's not designed to be, a, you know, a portable headphone. So I don't really get the rant about the looks of this headphone because it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Who gives a shit? You're gonna wear this. Uh, in your room, in your house, you know, and nobody's gonna notice. So it doesn't matter how it looks on your head. I, I just don't get it why people are giving this headphone a lot of shit about its looks. It doesn't matter. 
all right just let's get over it um it fits like this i mean these are temple pads these can be adjusted like this uh and then you can pretty much easily adjust them so according to your comfort uh preferences you can adjust these if you wanted to i just keep them like this the stock orientation because this is the most comfortable for me uh headband is akg self-adjusting the elastics for the age are in very good condition and, and in fact they, uh, they are almost pristine uh, the elastics are very very nice compared to my the only vintage that i have akg is the k240m 600 ohm uh, vintage uh, those elastics are completely gone so considering the k1000 is going to be older than the um the uh, k240 the elastics are in very good condition as far as the age is concerned the k1000 uh, there is not much information on the exact date when it was launched but uh, according to some sources uh, 1989 so 1989 is not that old considering uh, the other headphones vintages that i have i mean the only i have a headphone manufactured in 1989 that's my dd48e 25 ohm that's 1939 1989 manufactured so this was launched in 1989 and this is serial number 11075 so it's going to be a later model than somewhere in the in the early to mid 90s um so it's not that old but still i mean it's vintage these are fairly rare uh, they don't show up from time to time i mean when they show up they're pretty expensive uh this is as i said serial number 11075 so you know this is the base light the the earlier ones uh, the lo the lower number ones are base heavy ones the base heavy ones are supposedly had base rattling issues so that is why akg made a base light one to kind of remedy those issues my pair does not have any rattling at all uh even at you know s you know stress songs like the excursion uh, stressing songs no rattling that i can uh, hear at least uh they are they're they're amazing they're very unique and this is not a review so i'm not going to go to the sound that much but let me show you something very cool about this headphone if you haven't seen uh these headphones have adjustable sound stage so well you can do this uh, you can stretch them out like that and then you have perfect imaging imaging with the slide you know with the the cups all the way uh on the side is is brilliant spatially perfect these are so amazing i mean i, I have no words i mean they're just unlike anything out there put these on your head <laughs> as i said you look really goofy but it doesn't matter you know you don't buy these for the looks you buy these for the sound and the sound stage and it's brilliant it's really brilliant um i i will make a review soon it's gonna be it's gonna come fast anyway let's talk about some other things some modding uh, things that i did when i received the the k1000 i wanted to put a neutric uh mp3x on it somehow i i completely did not succeed in that task because the stock cable akg is using is one of the most annoying pieces of shit cable i've ever come, come across in my life i mean i could not make it single-ended i tried everything uh but the conductors were just fucking with me i did everything but always uh it just nothing happened so what i did was uh, I, I kept the four pin xlr which is right here and i made a pigtail so this is a four pin xlr to quarter inch and uh, these are not akg uh, cables this is a hd 580 new old stock four conductor cable I don't have uh, four conductor cables with me. Uh, the only cable aftermarket that I have is the Belden 9451, which is a three conductor cable. But since these are balanced, uh, I, I had to use the 580 cable. Uh, fairly high quality cable, it works, uh, there's no problem with it. Um, another thing, uh, if you're recabling these, uh, the connection, the, the uh, pinouts are there on the in the manual, if you wanna see, or if you don't have a manual, you can go to the AKG's website and you can check them right there. Um, Otherwise, they're fairly easy to mod. I also took out these temple pads. Uh, I do not recommend them if you, if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, and it's a, something I, I would not suggest most people doing, but I, I did it anyway. I, I put them in the washing. They smell pretty, pretty, pretty good now. They were not in the beginning when I got them, but now they do. Uh, these are uh, glued to the, to the housing. And you gotta be careful when you re-glue them back again, because these, as I said, are adjustable temple pads so when you glue them you don't have to i mean make sure the glue does not drip down otherwise this will affect the the sliding 
Uh, you can use thermoplastic adhesives uh, for this. That is the most recommended method. I would not absolutely not use cyanoacrylates or any other permanent methods. Nothing. Never use that kind of that, that kind of stuff. It's just gonna ruin this headphone. Always use thermoplastic adhesives for uh, things like this because they're easy to remove. There'll be no residues and it's perfect and easy to deal with. So thermoplastic adhesive is the way to go. Uh, so you can clean those temple pads. Uh, you can also recable them, but I I don't recommend recabling them uh, because it's a vintage headphone. You don't you know you know, it's like taking a vintage gun, sanding it, and then spray painting it. You're ruining the value. You should not do it. It doesn't matter if it sounds better. Do not recable a vintage rare headphone. It's not it's it's like it's a red flag. You don't do that shit. All right, it's stupid. Never do it. You can do it, but I absolutely don't recommend. If you do it, you're a dipshit. You have no idea what you're doing. So don't recable them. Uh, let them be stock. I mean, I can understand plug modding. That is fine because you know some people have preferences on that. But uh, internal recable, do not do it. It's rare. You will ruin the value. You will ruin the headphone. You'll do everything wrong with it. Don't do it. Uh, overall, the K1000 is one of the best headphones. In the world in my opinion yeah so the k1000 is easily one of the best headphones in the world i think uh, obviously i like my dd40s my dd480s and k1000 is definitely alongside those headphones but compared to the other shit in this market i mean you cannot compare this is this is high end this is more than high end this is real fidelity if you want timber if you want the best timber in this world you buy a dd48 if you want the best imaging in this world you buy a k1000 you don't buy a 09, you don't buy a HD 800. No, you don't do that. That's that's like, I mean, I don't want to insult anybody, but anyway, leave, leave that. If you want the best, one of the best headphones in the world, you get a K1000. There's no doubt about that. It's a legend. I love it. I will probably buy another edge, uh, bass heavy version because that's, that's how much I like it. I want another pair. That's how much I like it. Uh, I'll also get a HE60 and then that's end game for me. I'm done. I don't need anything else. I've got the best of the best Honestly, I'm done. This is um, this is the end K1000 the finest headphone on the planet. I Love it. If you have the cash to spare Look no further. This is the headphone you gotta get. This is the headphone you gotta get. Take it easy and Have a fucking great one. All right.